The truth is marching on, right? Glory, glory, glory. The truth is marching utukufu, on. Utukufu, utukufu, There's no point singing even any other song. I pray to God that you catch what I'm talking about. There is no other song. The bishop came and sang the song that summarizes it all. Askofu amekuja akaimba hii ambayo inajumulisha kila kitu. Solomon the wise preacher he wrote everything he wrote. With all the wisdom he had. Solomon eventually became a fool. Have you thought about that? A man prayed for understanding. That I may do your will. And God said, because you ask for this. Na kwa vile uliomba kwa hii Which is the most important thing Ambao ni jambo la muhimu To know me Kunijua mimi To do my will Kufanya mapenzi yangu Solomon Solomon All other things shall yeah. be added unto you Vile vitu vingine vyote utawangesewa But eventually Na badai The man who sought understanding Motu ambao aliomba ufaham Became a fool Haka ajia mpumbafu He only grabbed wisdom Alikuja tu akanyakwa hekima. Akashikilia hekima. And forgot what God told him. Na akasahau kile Mungu alimwambia. This book of the law. Hii kitabu cha sheria. This my word. Hii neno langu. Shall never. Sije. Solomon. Solomon. You must keep my word. Lazima uweke neno langu. As your father did. Bila baba yako alifanya. Then I will never leave you. Ba, hivyo sitakuacha. But Solomon. Solomon, if you turn away from me, kama unakaa unakeuka, then you will be in trouble. Sasa utakuwa katika shida. Solomon, Solomon got too wise. Alipata mara pili. And then went and married every woman in Nairobi. Alafu akaoa kila mwanamke hapa Nairobi. And then God said, "What did I tell you?" You became a fool. Let no one let no one fool you. Glory, glory. Utukufu, utukufu. Hallelujah to my God. Hallelujah kwa Mungu wangu. The creator of heaven and earth. Muumba wa mbingu na inji. This the God. Huyo Mungu that all nations on this earth. Ya kwamba kila kitu hapa chini ya inji. They are just a drop of water in a bucket. Hiyo tu ni kitu kidogo ndani ya chupa. He does whatever pleases him. Anafanya kile kinampendeza. Wakati wote. Wakati wote. You will not change. Hata badilika. You will never change. Hata badilika. He does not fail. Hakuwezi kushindwa. Anabaki ule ule. God is the same. Neno lake ni ile ile. He's not a man. Hiyo mwanadamu. He cannot lie. Hawezi kudanganya. Glory glory. Tukufu tukufu. And that's why he said. Ndio nani anasema? He warned all of them. He warned all of us. Akatuonya wote. He warned me. Ananionya. He warned me. Ananionya. He warned everybody. Anaonya kila mtu. Let no man on earth. Siwe mtu yote duniani. Give himself glory. Ambao anapewa utukufu. All glory belongs to the Lord. Utukufu wote ni kwa Bwana. He told us one thing. Na akatuambia kitu kimoja. Anybody wants to glory. Kama mtataka kujitukuza. You want to be this and that. Unataka kuwa hiki na hiki. You want to be the all and all. Unataka kuwa mkubwa. Glory in what? Utukuze kwa nini? Glory in the Lord. Yitukuze kwa Bwana. God bless you. You got it. I love, I love this my brother is fired up. He's looking at me. Eh, hey, nashukuru. Glory in the Lord. Jetukuze katika Bwana. The truth is marching on. Ukweli unasonga mbele. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. My people here. Watu wangu hapa. The truth. Ukweli. Shall reign. Utatawala. The truth. Ukweli. Shall judge you. Utakohukumu. The truth. Ukweli. Shall condemn you. Itakohukumu. The truth. Ukweli. Shall save you. Itakuokoa. The truth of God shall save you. Ukweli wa Mungu utakuokoa. Utahukumu. Shall condemn. Itakukumu. And believe me let me tell you one thing. Na niamini wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja. The first people that will be condemned. Watu wa kwanza kuhukumiwa. Our pastors. Ni wachungaji. All of you if you are a pastor listen to me. Kama wewe ni mchungaji na uko hapa nisikilize. The first people that will be condemned will be pastors. Watu wa kwanza kuhukumiwa atakuwa mchungaji. Because yesterday we said. Kwa maana jana tulisema. That what God has led the bishop to do. Kile ambao amefanya asikofu kufanya. To say Lord, Bwana, this is my stewardship before you. Hawa ndio watu 
ama kazi yangu mbele yako mimi nitoa hesabu look lord angalia bwana there is no one's blood on my head hakuna mtu mwingine mkuu ndani ya damu yake itakuwa juu yangu kwa maana kile uliniambia kile ulinipa nimewapatia bila uoga bila kukiba, bila kupendeleo hao wanaume na wanawake ambao wanakubiri kufundisha kufurahisha wanadamu napo kubiri kufurahisha wanadamu mimi ni mtumishi wa wanadamu sio mtumishi wa Mungu hiyo ndio utafauti upo wacha niwaambie kitu kimoja wacha niwaambie kitu kimoja mtu yote ambaye anataka utukufu ajitukuse kwa katika Bwana nataka uniambie zaidi mtu akitaka kujitukuza ajitukuse kwa sugumusa that what he knows god is not only knowing god sio kujua tu mungu peke yake he knows god and what kujua mungu kwa nini he knows god and what kujua mungu kwa what is doing this well that's knowing god hiyo ni kujua mungu he knows god and what kujua mungu na nini are you a word read me jeremiah 9:24 jeremiah 9:24 but let him who glories glory in this in this that he understands and knows that me. he understands bali sababu hii ya kwamba ajifahamu mimi na kujua kwamba kuwa mimi ni bwana and he knows me atendaye mema na kuhukumu na haki unaweza kujua namna gani unamwelewa bwana now stop my people come on now the bible says this let me proverb please 9:10 metali 9:10 Proverbs 9:10 Yes The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom Yes and the knowledge of the only one is understanding Kumucha Bwana ni mwanzo wa hekima na kumujua mtakatifu ni ufahamu So what is the knowledge of God Kwa hivyo hekima ya Bwana ni What is the knowledge of God Hekima ya Mungu ni I know it's there it's written it's a fool najua najua imeandikwa pale you think i'm asking you the same thing that you are reading there i'm just yeah. asking you a different what did the knowledge of, okay he, he said knowledge of god is understanding nasema kwamba hekima ya mungu ni kuelewa what is the knowledge and the understanding of god sasa hekima na kuelewa kwa bwana ni nini we're in trouble we're in trouble now mungu katika shida obedience <laughs> god bless you read me please john 17:3 John 17:3 Yes. And this is eternal life. It is eternal life. That no. they may know you. That that is all that they may know you. To knowledge of God is eternal life. Na uzima wa milele ndio huu. Ukujua wewe Mungu wa pekee wa kweli na Kristo Yesu aliye mtuma. That's why we said. Hivi ndio tulisema. Give me first John please. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana 2:1. 1 John 2:2 35 yes now by this we know that we know him mm -hmm. if we keep his commandments verse 4 he who says i know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him but whoever keeps his word truly the love, the of, love god of god is perfected, perfected in, him. in him by this we know that we know Why am I saying the same thing again I said what the first day? Nasema kwa nini nasema hii jambo ambalo nasema siku ya kwanza? Let's go back into the Bible. Wacha turudi tuingie katika Biblia. You are a pastor. Ni wachungaji. You are a member. Wewe ni mshirika. Let's go back the way of the Lord. Wacha turudi katika njia ya Bwana. Not the way of man. Sio njia ya mwanadamu. That's why the Bible told you. Biblia inasema. Jeremiah 17:5. Jeremiah 17:5. Bwana asema hivi. Amelaaniwa moto yule amtegemeai mwanadamu. Afanyai mwanadamu kuwa kinga yake na moyoni mwake amemwacha Bwana. 
That's what is happening in churches now. Hivyo ndio inafanyika makanisani. You know most past, pastors and everything they are now God. You know do you understand what I'm talking Sa about? Sasa wachungaji sasa wamekuwa ni Mungu. They want their member to think they are God. Wanataka washirika wao wafikiri hao ni Mungu. The day ile siku. A makeos rumba thinks is something. Kama mchungaji rumba anasema kitu fulani. That the day I'm dead. Hiyo ndio siku nitakufa. Because I know. Kwa maana najua without him without him Bila ye, I'm already a dead man Mimi nimeshakufa tayari How could I want to think I am something where I am not Kwa nini nitaka mnichukue kama kitu na mimi sio kitu Because when I do that Kwa maana nikifanya hivyo I'm only trying to control you Nataka ni kama nataka kukutawala Why would anybody control another human being Unajua hautakani kutawaliwa na mwanadamu When it comes to God Unapokuja kwa Bwana God is the father Mungu ni baba. Let his children worship him. Wacha wa, watoto wako mabudu katika roho na kweli. Let his children worship him in freedom and liberty. Wacha watoto wako mabudu katika uhuru. And they can know that. They can do that. Na hawezi kufanya hivyo. Except they know the truth. Mpaka wajue ukweli. And he is the truth. Na hapa ndio ukweli. And the word of the truth. Nenda neno la ukweli. Bishop said it here. Askofu alisema hapa. Everyone kila mmoja nisikilize sasa in India, katika India in Nigeria, Nigeria kule Europa in US kule US everywhere kila mahali take the children of God back to God chukua watoto wa Mungu warudishe kwa Mungu because the day will come kwa maana siku itakuja God no matter whatever you do you will never forgive you kwa maana hakija hili unafanya nini hautasamehewa let me tell you one thing wacha niwambie kitu kimoja i don't know why that's echoing Come on, let's get this right. Wacha tupate ikwe sawa. Let's let me tell you one thing. Wacha niambie kitu kimoja. We said have thought about this. Nimewasa kuhusu hili jambo. God said, my ultimate will. Mungu anasema, is what? Jambo langu la msingi ni gani? Is what? Ni nini? Come on. My ultimate will is what? Jambo langu la msingi ni nini? that no one should perish ya kwamba mtu asipotee anybody mtu yeyote any pastor kila mchungaji any man kila mwanadamu or woman ama mwanamke that causes any soul to perish anayefanya nafsi kupotea he will never be forgiven huyo hatasemehewa that is a sin against the holy spirit hiyo ni kufanya dhambi kinyume cha roho mtakatifu the most important thing unto god kwa maana kitu ya muhimu kwa mungu that's why god said hiyo bwana anasema mimi matthew 18 matayo 18 Matthew 18 Yes, read from 6 maybe up to 9. Let's go. Sita Matthew 18 from 6 up to 9. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, mm. it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the sea depth of the sea. Well, can, can anybody tell me can anybody rephrase that thing? Kuna mtu ambao anaweza kuleta kwa ngea fulani hiyo nini hiyo msemo Come on if I cannot get any refreshing from here right now I stop Kama siwezi kupata jambo ambalo mnaweza kusungumza kuhusu hilo jambo naweza kusema Can anybody rephrase what God is talking about Kuna mtu ambao anaweza kujaribu kuelezea kile Mungu anasema Yes sir Sema I love you thank you God bless you I was trying to say that It would have been better if there is no chance for forgiveness, right? Then it would have been better that that person was never born. Ya kwamba hakuna msamaha hapo kwa maana ingekuwa heri mtu huyo kama hangesaliwa. You can deceive and do many things with many other things but not the soul. Unaweza kufanya vitu vingine ukidanganya lakini sio nafsi. Because yep. you will give account. Kwa maana utatoa hesabu. You will give account. Utatoa hesabu. Are we all together here? Tuko pamoja hapa. So we're talking about glory glory. Ndosema utukufu utukufu. The truth matches on. Ukweli unasonga mbele. Nobody's going to stop it. Hakuna mtu atasimamisha hiyo. The kingdom of hell will not even prevail against it. Ufalme wa giza hakutausuia. That's one thing many people don't know. Kuna kitu kimoja ambao watu hawajui. Makacha mengi because we think about earthly things because we think about worldly worldly things kwa maana tunawaza vitu vya kidunia we don't know that if we embrace hatujui kwamba kama tunapokea the truth ukweli and allow our members to embrace the truth alafu turuhusu washirika wetu wachike ukweli 
wewe kuja uone kile Mungu atafanya wale ambao hawapendi ukweli watatoka na sasa utakuwa na amani kwa maana wale wanapenda ukweli watakuja wako wacha niwaulize watu wangu kutoka Kenya ni kwa nini watu wanafuata njia mbaya Mtu anakuja anafanya eh mnamfuata. Sasa kwa kanisa ndio unaweza kwenda ukapata msarakasi nyingi. Unaenda unakuta vitu tofauti mpaka unashangaa wanasema mtu huyu ni ajabu mtu ajabu gani Hebu nionyeshe mahali gani Yesu alikuwa anatumia maneno masito Ama mitume Lugha raisi Anataka watu wajue kile anazungumzia Lazima iwe A A B katika kiwango chao Wengine atakwambia Pastor Charles and Pastor Godwin they have been in, the, in it for a long time until God turned them to, to come to him. They know better. I don't even know those words. Uh, some of them will tell you that your destiny is blah blah blah. Nobody can rob your destiny for destiny. Also so grammar. What can... <laughs> tell people the truth. Jaribu kuhema ukweli. Forget about trying to impress them. Ukata wacha kuinua ama kuasifu. Mtu aliniambia. Mimi ni mchungaji wa kuchochea. Wewe ni wasimu. Unaweza kuchochea mtu aliye hai na Mtu ako kadhani. Mtu amekufa. Na unamchochea. Kama mtu anakuchochea kwa vitu vya dunia anakuua no kwa maana Mungu hana haja na vitu vya dunia anaweza kukupatia wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja ndugu sangu Mungu huyu ni mkuu mpaka umwelewe mpaka umfuate mpaka umfuate sijawahi kuona Mungu hapo mbele ilikuwa wakati Bishop there was a time. Askofu kulikuwa kwa wakati. Money. Pesa. Money was something I could play with. Pesa ilikuwa kitu ambao naweza ku kucheza naye. Being the first maybe Nigerian or African lawyer in America. Kwa maana are, are you with me? Haya <laughs> vile Bishop amesema hivyo. It's okay. I said what he said. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm Nisiki. only telling you this for a reason. Naambia tu kwa jeleke. I'm only telling you this for a reason. Nataka na sababu. Oh, he's so educated. Mtu alikuwa amelimika. That's a doctor of law. Akuwa mtu mwenye sheria. Wale wote ambao amelimika. He had a soccer club. Ha, ako na Football Kitimo The day the, door, the Lord called me. Wakati Bwana aliniita. He told me something that will scare most of you. Alinibia kitu ambacho kinaweza kushangaza nyinyi. The days of your walking were over. Ka, wakati wa mafu yako imeisha. Can you believe somebody making almost 300 dollars one hour? Unaweza kuwasia mtu anafanya e dola 300 kwa siku. Kwa saa moja. Kwa lisali moja and you're telling him no don't no more na unaambiwa imeishi hapo 
and then you have to put me in the house for three years. I didn't go to school to learn anything for three years in the house. Halafu akaniweka katika nyumba miaka mitatu bila kwenda kwa shule. This is this. Hii ni hii. Hii ndio huduma. I've called you for one purpose. Nimekuita kwa lengo moja. I'll get my people to prepare them for the kingdom of God. Enda urudishe watu wako kwa ajili ya ufalme. Whatever I tell you to do. Na kile nakwambia ufanye. You must live that life. Lazima uishe maisha hayo. A teacher cannot teach what he does not know. Mwalimu aweze kufundisha kile kitu ajui. You cannot teach the word of God when you are not the word of God. Uweze kufundisha neno la Mungu ukiwa hauko ndani ya neno la Mungu. You the word of God otherwise you are a liar. Lazima uwe ndani ya neno la Bwana. Kama si wewe ni muongo. See what I'm trying to tell you? Ndio hivi nataka kukuambia. For 16, 16 years now. Sasa ni miaka 16. I have never worked one day, one second day. Sijawahi kutembea siku moja. For one dollar. Kwa dola moja. Not a penny. Sio pena. Sijawahi ask anybody for offering. Sijawahi kuomba moto sadaka. I don't want anything from you. Sitaki kitu kutoka kweli. I have never asked any human being for anything. Sijawahi kuomba mwanadamu chochote. How am I alive? Katika maisha ni mwao. I'm yet I'm bigger than all of you. Na unaona vile nimenona. This kind God. Wakati huu bwana. I've never known the kind. This <laughs> This kind God, blessed be His holy name. Blessed be the name of Lord. This kind God, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I've never seen His kind. Oh, oh, this kind God, blessed be His holy name. I'm trying to encourage you. Nijaribu kutia moyo. Yeye ndiye mwenye mbingu na inchi. Nijaribu, jaribu. Lakini fanya kile anakuambia ufanye. Lakini hata kuangusha. So I ask you a question. Nikuuza swali. Why do we follow bad? You see, you see how we are here now? Do you see what we have here now? Unaona wale watu kunao sasa hapa? Bishop wants the truth. Askofu anataka ukweli. Not for him. Sio kwa ajili yake. But for everybody. Kwa ajili ya kila mmoja wetu. Because if the truth does not come. Kwa maana kama ukweli hautakuja. The people will perish. Watu watapotea. Hata askofu atapotea. Are you following what I'm talking about? Unanifuata kila That's what he told Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Kando yasema kwamba Ezekiel. Oh son of man. Read me Ezekiel 3:17 to 21. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3:17 to 21. Yes. Son of man. I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hear a word from my mouth. Only hear a word from my mouth, not the word from anybody's mouth. Sikia neno kutoka kwa kinywa cha Bwana, sio kwa wanadamu. I give them one from me. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. Mm -hmm. And you give him no warning. <laughs> you give him no speak warning. to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood I will require at, at your, your hand. hand. Are you following me? And but what? let's go ahead and what? see how God has blessed us here now. Go on, read the, 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 the other one. Watch at Wendele Mbele Tuwani Bele Bwana Ami Tubariki Hapa. Yes, if you want the wicked and he does not turn from his wicked, wicked ways. Yes. Not from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity, but, but you, you have, have delivered, delivered your, your soul. soul. Umeokoa nafsi yako mwenyewe. Unanifuata? You have delivered your own soul. Umeokoa nafsi yako. I'm here. Niko hapa. I'm standing here. Nimesimama hapa. And the Lord probably teaching the word through me. Night, nafundisha neno kupitia mimi. It is all about if I don't open my mouth and he teaches the way he wants, my soul will be lost. Kama sifungui kinywa changu nikafundisha neno jinsi nasaka kufundishwa nafsi yangu inapotea. That's why he told us. Yeye anatuambia this word of mine. Hii neno langu. Ay 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 this word of me please. <laughs> are you are you ready? Very ready. You are very ready. Give me the spirit of God. Give me Jeremiah 23 please. Yeremia 23 28 to 29. 28 to 29. Yes. Yeah. 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 The prophet who has a dream let him tell a dream. Mm -hmm. And he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Faithfully. Let him speak my word faithfully as it is in the Bible. Yes. 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 Y
What is the sharp to the which says the Lord? What is the sharp to all the sharp? What is the sharp? The sharp is all this is the preach in these days. Hey, makapi, di mo nesky watu na kubiri. Boom, 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 boom. We are all the best. Everything is fine. Kila kiti in heaven. That's the sharp. Kila kitu ni sawa. Kila kiti sinde kubora. Iyo ni machap. You you already in heaven. Go. Oko tayari kwenye bivu ni enda. Go on, yes. Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord. It's like a fire. And like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. That's God. We we us. We ni munga na tuonya. Hebrews four, please. Twelve to fourteen. No, thirteen. Let's. Hebrews four, twelve to thirteen. Yes. For the word of God is living and powerful. It is living. Linaishi. So powerful. Nadi kona kufu. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh huh. Piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow. Yes. And is a discerner of oh, the thoughts intense. and intents of the heart. And, and there is no creature, yes. creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him. To him we must give account. account. Oh, my people, pause in what? Kenya. Watu wangu tulia Kenya. God bless you. Mungu wabariki. Unto whom we must give account. Kila kasi lasima tutoe hesabu. The account we are going to give is precisely his word. Ile hesabu ambayo tunaenda kutoa ni neno lake. Did you do what I tell you to do? Ulifanya kila ambacho nilisema ufanye? That's it. Ndio hivyo. That's why I ask you a question. Ndio kwa swali. Why do we need to, to follow the wrong crowd? Ni kwa nini tunapenda kufuata Kukundi wa wongo We don't like the truth It's close to it, I love you Ako karibu, ako karibu Why do we run? We see somebody coming No team, no value We have crusade Everywhere thousands Let us go And nothing that even touch your heart Nothing that changes you Nothing that makes you cry Why do we run to them? Kwa nini tunapenda kufuata makurusedi, mkitu ambao kubadilishi, haki kubadilishi, na unapenda kufuata kikundi yes. kubaya? Huh? Well, I don't worry about paying the price. God bless you. Barikiwa. Yes, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I know they have itching ears. Why do they have itching ears? Kwa nini wana masikio ya kutoka sikia? When you answer me, answer me, you're going to get another one. Why do they have itching ears? Yeah, that's what the pastor said, they have refused the truth. Wame kata ukweli. But there are something I'm looking for. Kuna kitu naangalia. I actually say so much about us. Ambao bwani nasema kuhusu sisi. If you see, if you see an evil person. Ukiona mtu shetani. And doing something. And anafanya kitu. And you appreciate him. Alafu unapongesa. Bishop, God bless you. Read me Proverbs 17.4. Metale kumina saba ine? Proverbs 17.4. Yes. An evil doer gives heed to false lips. Yes. A liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. Of course. Mutenda mabaya kusikilisa midomo ya uofu. Na muongo kutenga sikio lake kusikilisa ulimi wa madhara. That's why feel good and prosperity teaching is the biggest business in Africa. Ndiyo unaone ya kwamba makubiri ya kufanikiwa ndiyo hiko makubwa katika Afrika hapa. And even Christ told us the same thing. Give me John. Hata Christ ya jisema mamo kama hayo. Tuwapatia Yohana. John 3, 19-20. John 3, 19-20. Yes. And this is the condemnation mm -hmm. that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light. Why? Because their deeds were evil. evil. Na hii ndiyo hukumu ya kuwa nuru imekuja ulimwenguni na watu wakapenda gisa kuliko nuru. Kwa mana mtendo yao yalikuwa maofu. Are we there? Tuko pale. Are we there? Tuko pale. Are, we, are you with me? Tuko pamoja. Come on. Kuja. Are you with me? Tuko pamoja. Okay, so I know we support, we do... What I don't know. It's not for me. Sometimes I will say, even our fellowship, we are going to be here briefly. We are only going to teach briefly, and the thing goes on forever and ever. So I always afraid to make sure I say, Lord, please forgive me and have your way. 
Tunaenda kufunza tu kwa ufupi lakini kwa wakati mwingine nasema eh bwana nisemee he we Lakini bwana atapata kujibu maswali yetu. Wacha nichukue kila askofa alisema. Wacha nikwambie. wale mdogo zangu. I tell people all over the world. Naambia watu ulimwengu mzima. You know you come out you see poster and uh, flyers. Unaona utatoka nje unakuta unaona ya kwamba maandishi yameandikwa huko nje. And you see the face of this this man here. Alafu unaona sura ya mtu huyu hapa. When I do that. Napofanya hivyo. I cry. Nalia. I feel sorry for myself. Najisitikia mwenyewe. I don't you may not understand I see I feel so sorry for myself. Mnaweza kosa kuelewa jinsi ninavyojisitikia mwenyewe. Because I know the one who standing is the one who's likely to fall. Kwa maana sio yule amesimama bali yule ako karibu kuanguka. Anayesimama anawezekana akaanguka. A man on the floor does not fall anymore. Moto akiwa chini awezi kuanguka tena. That's why I say please ask God. Ndio nasema kwamba sema muulize Bwana. Let me not disappoint you Lord. Nisije nikakuaibisha Bwana. Unto the end. Mpaka mwisho. So that's why so when we come, when I come in kwa sababu ninapokuja hapa wengine wanafikiria kwamba nakuja kama nimepangilia wa ndugu zangu sikuje hapa kama nimepangilia chochote naweza kuingia hapa anasema unasikia unasikia kwaya and he pick it for minutes and and he would teach he would teach on it alafu anachukulia pale alafu anatufundisha bishop said another thing Askofa alisema He said are you willing that's almost like what he said Ni kama tu bila alisema unapenda He said the truth is marching on Ukweli unasonga mbele Are you willing to march with the truth Je unakubali kutembea na ukweli That's the second thing he asked you Hiyo ni swali ambayo nimekuuliza And he asked the question how many of you are willing to march the truth Alafu akauza swali ni wangapi wako tayari kutembea katika ukweli Are you raise your hand Na hakuna yote aliye kutoa mkono Let me ask you the same question Wacha niwaulize swali hilo tena How many of you are willing to march with the truth ni nani wako tayari kutembea ndani ya ukweli huo? Kama unataka inua mkono yako. Sante Bwana kubariki. So what is willingness? Sasa kutaka ni nini? I'm coming. He said are you, are you willing? So I'm, I'm only bringing you so one, one single word. Willingness. Willingness. Ni sema kwamba neno tu moja kutaka. No bishop who said we're willing. We're willing. We're willing. What is willingness? Askofa anasema kutaka 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 ni nini? We say yeah. <laughs> By taking the necessary step. Kwa kuchukua right? hatua inayotakikana. You find that. Hiyo ulipata wapi? You have the, 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 the movie. So you see, let, let me tell you one thing. Wacha niambie kitu. They are showing you the what? movies. Wameonyesha exactly the teaching of God. Wameonyesha movie ambayo ni mafundisho ya Mungu. I wasn't here. Mimi sikuwa hapa. But that sank in into somebody. Lakini hiyo ilingia ndani ya kile ya mtu. Willingness is the willingness is the determination to do what is required of you by taking the necessary step. Kwa hivyo kutaka ni kufanya kile kitu unataka kwa kuchukua hatua ile inayotakikana. God bless you. Bwana akubariki. Willingness is not with your mouth. Lord I am willing. He say okay you fool. You are willing. You are sitting down there. But I'm giving you the, 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 the my word. Everything. What are you doing with it? Kutaka sio kusema kwa mdomo ninataka. Kutaka inatakana uchukue hatua ambayo usonge mbele ile ufanye kile unataka. You demonstrate willingness by taking step. Unafanya unafanya kutaka kwa kuchukua hatua kufanya kile unataka kufanya. That's why Jesus Christ said. Ndio Yesu alikasema. Don't stand there and sit down there and wait for me. Wale ka chini aongojee pale. Strive to enter. Ngangana ngangana kuingia. But can anybody tell me? Na mtu anaweza kuniambia. Of all of us here. Sisi tulio hapa wote. Something in the Bible. You know we're all going to the Bible. Yetu katika Biblia. Sote tunaenda katika Biblia. That demonstrated willingness. How are you willing to carry this very truth? Je, 
You will forsake all things for his sake. vitu vyote kwa ajili yake. God bless our bishop. The first Mungu abariki askofu yetu. My people, if I if you tell me you're willing to do something. Watu wangu, mtakisema kwamba nataka kufanya kitu. The first thing is you to be ready to do that which you want to do. Kitu ya kwanza, uwe tayari kufanya kile kitu unataka. Everything. Unawacha kila kitu. For bishop Horan, I'm going to ask another question, but let me finish with this one. Because don't 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 forget to forsake everything. Because the Bible told us one thing. If anyone wants to come to me, kama mtu anataka kuja kwangu. Give me please look. Patie patie look at this. From 23. Kuanzia 23. Look 9 from 23. Yes sir. Then he said to them all. Yes. If anyone desires to come after me, mm -hmm. Let him deny himself. Let him, that what Bishop is. Let him deny himself. Lasima ajikane mwenyewe. And take up and, what? And take up his cross. Yes. But then, how? Stop right there. How then do you deny yourself? Unajikana kibipi? That's the question. I'm. 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 The what? What? A, okay, die to self. I like that grammar. Die to self. But how do you die to self? No, kufaje. That's the same thing I'm asking. It's twelve now, Wujisa. You know we use this thing. Die to self. Kufa mnyewe. Deny. But how do you die to self? Una kufa mnyewe kibipi. But that's one. That's when you take the cross. Napo how do you die to yourself? How do you deny yourself? Unajikana kivipi? Yes, sir. Okay, when you make yourself nothing. How do you make yourself nothing? Unajifanya kwa kuna kuwe ni bure kwa ni? Kivipi? My people listen to me. Watu wa mungu msikilise. What is the foundation? You, have, you want to come to me. Lay the foundation of eternal life. What is the that's only how does a human being deny himself? A what? human being denies himself by turning away from all lost but things that hold him what? Captive. Which is what? See, you want to come to me? <laughs> First of all, deny all this. That's why Paul said, as far as I'm concerned, I am crucified to this world. Yeah, and the world is crucified to me. Paul said, I'm crucified to this world. And the world is crucified to me. After saying that, now, but, because some of you are looking at me, but that's in Galatians 6.14, please. Galatians 6.14. Galatians 6.14. Yes. But God forbid, that I should boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. But how does he boast? <laughs> because before he gets to the cross, God, by whom the world has, has been crucified. crucified to me, and I to the world. The things of the world has been crucified unto me. That's why Jesus Christ said, and we're not going to get into all that Galatians to talk about 20 or whatever. He said, you know, now it's not I that what? Live. That, that means he has taken what? The cross. You cannot take this cross until, like he said, die to self. But die to self. If I ask anyone now, except to since uh, we started, this is three days. How many of you have died to self? Maybe I pray to God that that has happened for the past three days. But before then, hardly any one of you. 
Ikiulizwa kwamba nana ameshakufa kibinafsi? I'm talking about myself. Najisukumishie mimi mwenyewe. Except read the Bible from Genesis. Soma Biblia kuanzia mwanzo. Go to Revelation. Enda paka ufunuo. We have this foundation I'm telling you. Bila misingi hii ambayo nakuambia. Every other thing is wasting your time. Kila kitu unafanya unaharibu tu wakati wako. Ndio nataka ingie ndani ya kilisa kwa wapendwa aliyo hapa Nairobi. Kama kitu ambao nakubiriwa ambao unaharibu wakati. Kwa maana hakuna uzima mpaka uweke msingi wa Mungu. Come to me. Come. Kuja, kuja kwangu. Kuja kwangu. Na ukitaka kuja. Kwanza Lazima utoe maufu yale yote. Alafu uchukue ile moyo wa toba ambao ni which is what? My my beloved sister was me with me all through last night. The, I'm asking you now. He said, I'm coming again. He said, he said, he said, he said first of all, come, come, come Kuj and take, come and drink water. Kuja na ukunye maj. It's free. Nifu, nibure. It's grace. Ninaema. But if you want to come to me, na ukita kuja kwa mbu, there is a way. Kuna ungia. You do it. Unafanya. Not your own way. Sio njia yako. But my own way. Lakini njia yangu. You must start with the entry requirement. Lazima oanze na yale ambayo inatakikana. Bishop for everything we do in this life, every school we have entry kila, requirement. Kila kitu tunafanya hapa dunia hii lazima tuwe naingia au Lazima upate kuhitimu kile ingia inatakikana ndio uje kwa Mungu. Watu wangu munisikilize. Bila msingi shule ya msingi uwezi kwenda kule church kuu. Bila shule ya msingi. Hiyo ndio msingi ya AAE. Uwezi kwenda zaidi. That's how you prepare. Hivyo ndivyo unajipanga ama unajiandaa. Deny yourself. Jikani mwenyewe. And then alafu alafu ukuje. Are you following me? Unanifuata? So willing I'm willing. Kwa hivyo nataka. Lord I'm willing. Bwana nataka. Lord I'm you know you know I'm willing. Bwana nataka najitaka. But lakini that's some of us. Kama watu wengine kama sisi. So listen to me now. Lord you know I'm willing but you know Bwana unajua nataka lakini any time you are saying something you put but you cancel the one you said already. Kama unasema unataka kitu unasema lakini uweze kupata kile kitu ambacho unataka. I obey God, I love God, but that means you don't love God. You can't do it. Napenda Mungu, nampenda Mungu lakini hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba haumpendi Mungu. That's why he said let your ye be ye only and no be no only. Any other thing you add on to it is of the devil. Ndio anasema kwamba kama ni ndio ndio. Kama ni pana pana. Kitu chochote ambacho utaongeza itakuwa ni ya shetani. Are you with me? Uko pamoja nami? Willingness. Kutaka. I'm willing. Nataka. Before we go further, I'm willing. Nataka kabla jaenda. Look at. Let, let's take this. Tuchukue hii. We all know the parable of the sower. Tunajua kwamba ile mfano wa mpanzi. The sower sowed seed. Mpanzi alipanda mbegu. We know what happened to everything else, but I want to pick the last one. Unajua kile kilifanyika lakini nataka kuchagua kitu kimoja pale. We define to you willingness. Nataka kufafanulia wewe kutaka. Can you read please? Look Eight. Look, just look only 18 to no sorry 15 to 18 Luka 8 Luke 8:15 to 18 Yes but the ones that fell on the good ground are those who having heard the word with a noble and good heart stop right there Simama pale Na zile the ones who have had the word na what? noble and what good heart kuna wale wamesikia neno na wakapokea kwa moyo sana. Hiyo na maana nini? How do you hear the heart, the, the word? Unasikia neno na mna gani? Come on now my people now. How do you hear the word? Unasikia neno kivipi ama na mna gani? Bye. God bless you. Barikiwe. Remember I told you you people you forgot the formula. I said when anything goes wrong Niliwaambia kwamba ingia kama kitu inaenda kando pick obedience. Wewe tamoka tu uti. You pick obedience. You, be, you better be obedient because you be condemning yourself when you say something that you are not 
Kwa hivyo kama unataka kuchagua uchagua obedient lakini wewe ukuwe mtu mtiifu ndio uchagua mtiifu. Nasimama hapa. Kile Mungu ananifundisha kama sifanyi najihukumu mwenyewe. Unanifuata? Kwa pia ndio munisikilize. Laana iko juu yangu. Iko juu yangu. If I what I do during the day. Kile nafanya mchana. Is different from what I do at night. Na kile nafanya usiku. I have put a cost on myself. Najiwekea laana. Who am I deceiving? Najidai andanganya nani? Can I deceive God? Naweza kudanganya Mungu? He sees me. Najidanganya mwenyewe ananiona. So that is why he said with a noble heart. Akasema kwamba moyo Noble heart are those who are willing to do something with what they have had. Wale wako na moyo kumsuri ni wale wanataka kufanya kile ambao wamesikia. That's why he said it's not only the hearers alone. Lakini ndio anasema ya kwamba sio wasikilizaji tu bali watendaji wa neno. Wale wanataka wanapokea. Naomba kama umepokea. Sasa nini? Keep it and bear fruit with patience. How do they keep it? Wanawekaji. God bless you. Kwa kutivo, barikiwe. You receive it? Unapokea? You obey it? Unatii? Say Lord I have done the part you told me to do. Wasema Bwana nimefanya sehemu uliniambia nifanye. Lord when are you coming so I can be with you? Bwana Unakuja lini niwe pamoja nawe? He said I'll come whenever I want to come. Nitakuja wakati nataka kuja. But when I come. Lakini napokuja? I will still tell you I don't know you. Naweza kukuambia kwamba sikujui. Why? Kwa nini? You have received it. Umepokea. Umepokea na moyo safi. Umeshatii. Na Mungu anakuja anasema sikujui. Hii iko ndani kabisa hii. Nisikilize. Sio kwamba hao watu nimekuja nao wanaelewa vile Mungu ananifafanulia. You receive I've received this word. Nimepokea neno hili. From this day. Kusiku ya leo. No more. I'm following God. Namfuata Mungu. I'm repenting. Nimetubu. And I follow. Na ninafuata. Okay? Sawa? I keep it. Naliweka. By obeying it. Kwa kutii. And holding it. Na kulishika. And still God comes and said, Na Bwana tena anakuja niambia. The word, yes. Ulipokea neno ndiyo. You kept it, yes. Uliliweka ndiyo. But still I don't know you. Lakini bado sikujui. Why? Kwa nini? Which practice? Matendo gani? Tenda nini? Eh? That if you obey it, you are putting in practice. Kama unatii, tungeweka katika matendo. You are putting in practice. Umeweka katika matendo. Ulilipokea. He rejects us. You can keep it. I give you. Have you? Have you not heard the parable of the talent? Je, haujawahi kusikia ile mfano wa Christ came and gave money. Ya pesa ile. He's, he's us the word for what? For us to keep it. Anatupatia neno tuweke? What is it going to profit if it, we keep it? Itatufaidi nini kama tunaliweka tu? When he came here, nipo kuja hapa. Did he keep it to himself? Je, aliliweka? When he took his disciples, what did they tell him to do? Alipochukua wanafunzi wake, aliwaambia kufanya nini? And to tell others Endeni mkaambia wengine every moment kila wakati whether you are a pastor kama ni mchungaji or not a pastor ama sio mchungaji that ultimate will of god are you fulfilling it hiyo ndio mapendi ya mungu unatimisha hiyo are you making sure that none perishes una kwa nafsi ili sipotee you do your own part unafanya sehemu yako because you go into account and say look lord what you gave me i kept it kwa maana hautaenda waambie bwana kile nilinipatia niliweka i didn't do anything with it Sikufanyia kitu. It's a you wicked and unprofitable servant. Atakwambia wewe mtu mbaya hauna faida. I gave you that you didn't do anything with it. Nilikwambia hii kitu uweke. Why do why does God draw us to himself? Kwa nini neno la Mungu linatufuta kwake? That we may know him and also make him known. Yeye tupate kumjua yeye alafu na tumfanye ajulikane. So that's what he's saying here. Go on. Ndiyo anafanya anasema hapa tuendelee. No one when he has lit a lamp mm -hmm. covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed you know some of us are so selfish bishop we said now i know god but you know those bad bad evil ones let them go to hell I, I, I will laugh when the day comes oh, kuna watu wengine ambao ni wacheo sana wanasema when the day comes 
and with those evil ones. Wakati siku ya hukumu itakuja, hao waofu wataenda huko. I don't know you. Sikujui wewe. That's why he said. Ndio anasema in John 15:12. Kati Yohana 15:1-2. I am the branch. Mimi ni matawi. My father is the vine. Baba ni mkulima. Any branch in me. Tawi lolote kwangu. That does not bear any fruit. Ambao halisai matunda. I cast him away. Nitalikata. You do you understand? Unaelewa hiyo? Okay, so let's move on. Tusonge mbele. I will have covered so many things now. Nimeshika nimeshika mambo mengi hapo. With what God used Bishop to do, we have kile ambao bishop uh, bwana ambao asipoga mtu ili maache ni pate kufunguka tuko pamoja tuko pamoja okay yesterday jana we came and we talked about grace tulikuja tukasungumzia kuhusu neema but let me just go back before we go to grace wacha nirudi kidogo kabla hatujaenda kwa neema nikawaambia the love of god bwana ama bwana is why he has mercy ndio sababu ako na huruma rehema mercy begins grace rehema sinanda neema the purpose of grace is for you to repent and turn and begin to fulfill the purpose of god na sababu ya neema ni kwamba wewe utubu ili uanze kasi ya bwana so if grace does not lead you to repentance it has not profited you anything kwa, kwa hivyo kama neema haikuelekeza kwa kutubu hiyo hakuna kitu imekusaidia and then repentance Al- leads you to obedience alafu naye kutubu kuna kuelekeza kwa utiifu Then with obedience. Sasa utifu. It is perfect. Kiwa ni sawa. If you perfect it. Unapoikamilisha. If you perfect it. Unapoikamilisha. How do you perfect obedience? Unaikamilisha utifu na maana gani? You will answer me, answer me that this one now. Do you know one thing? Unajua kitu kimoja? When I ask you a question. I ask you a question. Relate relate back to what even Christ said. That's going back into the Bible. Wacha tu kwa Biblia. Are you following me? You read back. The Bible told us this. Bible ni tuambia ndio. Give me Hebrews 5. Tuseme Hebrews 5:8 to 9. Nane na tisa. Hebrews 5:8 to 9. Yes. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Yes. And having been perfected, he has been, <laughs> he has been perfected the obedience. Baada ukamilisha utiifu Yes, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Can anybody add something before obey? Kuna mtu ambaye anaweza ongeza kitu kabla hajati? If I'm giving you exam. Takupa mfano. This is easy. In rice. I said having perfected obedience. Baada ukamilisha utifu, he became the author of salvation unto those who obey him. I said, can anybody put something before obey kuna kitu ambao mtu anaweka mbele kabla ya kutii we are all thinking don't mind that the lord will never look at you you know you know this is the reason why i don't even know this god knew hii mungu anajua the hour saa kama hili is now and is late make sure imechelewa is all over people are deceived all over Maofu imekuwa kila mahali watu wanadanganywa kila mahali. Why he ministers this way? I don't know. Vile anahudumia watu jindi hivi sijui. He makes you feel relaxed. Anataka utulie. There's no bad answer. Talk to me, I talk to you. Sungumza nami nami nisungumze na wewe. So you know I'm your brother flesh. There is nothing about me. Unajua kwamba mimi ni ndugu yako tu katika damu na nyama. And do you know why I'm sorry for myself? Na unajua kwamba najisikia kwa nini? The giver. Mwenye kutoa. Reserve the right to take back. Anastahili kwamba arejeshewe. And when that happens. Na hiyo kifanyika? This is an empty dream. Hiyo tu ni ndoto. Most most preachers. Wakubiri wengi. The spirit of God has left. Roho wa Bwana amewaacha. But they still they are watching in fact the whole world. They, they have the whole world under them. Lakini bado ulimwengu msima uko nyuma yao. Because the world will love his own. Kwa maana ulimwengu utapenda walio wao. If you don't follow God the way he says you follow that gift he gave he will give it, take it back from you. Unajua kama hautafuata Mungu kwa kile kipao alikupatia atakuchukua atachukua. If Jesus Christ kama Yesu Kristo made it because he perfected obedience. Yesu alipata kufaulu kwa maana alikamilisha utiifu. Then he is the author of salvation unto those who perfect their obedience of him. Na yeye sasa ndiye mwokozi wa wale wanayokamilisha uokofu wao. 
if the only way he made it was that he perfected obedience kile ambao alipata kufaulu ni kwamba alikamilisha utiifu wake then those who will come to him are those who have perfected their obedience halafu wale wanakuja kwake wanakamilisha utiifu wao so how do you perfect obedience sasa utakamilishaje utiifu i have gone and given you i think somewhere the college expo when you give when you give the person the the answer as close as possible so how do you perfect obedience kuna kamilishaje utiifu huh? what are you depending na depending nini before you remember that we are in, when you are in obedience you have left to repentance tukiwa so, kwa utiifu tumewaacha kutuka obedience utiifu as how do you perfect it kuna ukamilishaje the way you perfect repentance is that heart of the repentance which will say this thing i did i will do it no more jinge unakamilisha kutubu unasema hiki kitu nilifanya nimewaacha now i'm obeying god sasa nashukuru mungu but how do you make sure your obedience will be accepted unto him na sasa utafanya namna gani ili utiifu wako upate kukubalika kwake how else you want me to put this in my people unatakaje nisemeni namna gani how else do i put this in na yesaje kuweka namna gani my obedience is be accepted by god nitajuaje kwamba utiifu wangu utakubalika na mungu no how yes how you deny what are you denying you deny yourself by repenting that has nothing to do with obedience right now we are not in obedience toko katika utiifu and nobody yes sir that's one by doing what you are supposed to do i'm going to help you kwa kufanya yale ambayo unasali kufanya naenda kusaidia simama hapo you got only half ulipata nusu and i'm not going to give you more than half nitakupatia zaidi ya nusu i'll still give you half nitakupa nusu by doing what you are supposed to do kufanya kile unasali kufanya to you is this and you got it okay nitakusaidia whenever you communicating to people communicate in a way they may truly on that that's why the bible unaposungumza na watu sungumza katika ile ingia wanaweza kuelewa the, the bible said biblia nasema if the sinner turns from all his wicked with all, all what wakati mwenye dhambi anageuka kwa maofu yake yote yote did you hear james 2:10 ulisikia yakobo 2:10 if i obey 99% 99% and fail one I have disobeyed. Kama nina titi saa 4 na hii 10 nawaacha nimeanguka. So you got it but all but you still you got half. I will finish it. Okay? All. You know why? Unajua kwa sababu gani? They are looking at me. Read me James 2:10. Nipatie Yakobo 2:10. James 2:10. Yes. James 2:10. Yeah. Yakobo 2:10. James 2:10. For whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in, in one point, point, he is guilty of all. He is guilty of all. And it shouldn't surprise you. In Yako, Kenya. Hapa Kenya. They said don't don't commit murder, right? Don't kill anybody. Usiwe mtu. And Don't do this don't do this don't do this. Usi, many many law. Right? Usifanye hiyo usifanye hiyo kuna sheria nyingi. And they, they say don't steal. Na usiibe. And I go and steal chicken. Alafu naenda na uiba kuku. And uh, they arrest me. Alafu anaishika. Will I go to jail? Then nitaenda kwa jela. I'm going to jail. Nitaenda kwa jela. I didn't commit murder but I'm going to jail. Nitaenda kwa jela. I fell the one. Kwa maana nilianguka moja. Nasikia kuna somsia. I don't know whether my brother will be able to interpret what i'm trying to tell you now ah wacha ningoje kama nitaweza kumsaidia there is something they thought they thought us in law school i, I still remember it kuna kitu katika ile shule ya, ya sheria they say when you are suing somebody when you are filing a lawsuit against somebody eh is that that's why i said that you don't look quit looking at me come on respect me too okay they said instead of saying Bishop slap me. Bali akusema kwamba askofu alinipiga. I'm going to as a lawyer. Mimi nitaenda kufanya kama hakimu. So Bishop spoke to me in a humiliating 
everything was so bad. That's one. Askofu ananisukumishia kwamba hali yote ilikuwa ni mbaya, hiyo ni moja. Bishop push me. Askofu alinisukuma. Bishop slap me. Askofu alinipiga kofi. Sikopa alinitupia mate. When I go to court. Nikienda kwa koti. Whichever one I prove that killed bishop. Not bishop, I'm talking. Whoever one I get that kills the person. I won the case. Do you understand me? It's like a bird. You see birds flying. Unaona mandege kama zinatembea? You take one arrow. Unachukua mshale moja. Most likely you're going to miss. Yeah, most likely you will miss it. Oh, una, unaweza kukosa kulenga. But if I have ten arrows. Na nikiwa na mshale kumi. And just shoot all the ten. Alafu na wachilia. I don't care which one kills the bird. Sijui si 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 gani ambaye itapiga. The bird is dead. Maya ndege zimekufa. That's what I want to achieve, right? Hiyo inaweza. The Bible says if you obey everything. Biblia inasema kama unatii yote. And you don't obey one. Alafu ukose kwa kufanya moja. You have not obeyed. Ujati. That's that's what he said. Kile ndiye anasema. So to perfect obedience. Hiyo ndio pat obey all. Kukamilisha utiifu lazima uti yote. When Jesus Christ sent his disciples. Wakati Yesu alitumia mitume wake. He said go and teach them to observe to obey all. Aliwatuma akasema ya kwamba muwafundishe kuyashika yote. Give us Ezekiel please. Tupatie Ezekiel 18:21-23. 18:21. Ezekiel 18 from 21. But if a wicked man turns from all oh! Lakini mtu mbaya akigairi na kuacha dhambi zake zote. Mm. All his sins which he has committed and God keeps all my statutes. Keeps all. Alafu anashika amri zangu zote. Okay, that's why my brother got it half. Ndio sababu ndugu yangu alipata nusu. What is other half? What are you keeping your status? Like the same will be <laughs> obeyed. Be perfect in obedience number one. Every word kila neno. That's why we are going into the Bible. Ndio sababu tunaenda kwa Biblia. Word of God. Kila neno la Mungu. Keep every word otherwise you have not kept any. Shika kila neno la Mungu. Are you following me? Unanifuata? In keeping the word. Ukiweka neno. Make sure you keep it according to the prescribed rule of. Ulishike kulingana na ile sheria iliyowekwa. The way you supposed to go. Ile ngia unasaidi kufuata. Are you with me? Uko pamoja nami? You know I told you this the first day that Kenyans are Niliwaambia kwamba wa Kenya ni watu wa kukimbia mbio. What that four runners? Eh, hey, wanakimbia mbio. Wana riada. We start in the the beginning of the run is here. Kuanzia tunaanzia hapa. Of the rest. Ya mbio. And somebody will go and hide somewhere in an ambush. Alafu mtu anaenda jificha katika kichaka. And the rest is going on. Na mbio inaendelea, mbio inaendelea. So he comes out. Alafu naye anatokeshea. I'm number one. Anaingia na sema mimi ndio namba moja. You going to go to jail. Wewe utaenda kwa jela. Put him in prison. Watamweka kwa jela. This man is a thief. Huyo mtu ni mwizi. Because he did not run according to the prescribed rule. Kwa maana hakukukimbia kulingana na ile masharti iliyowekwa. He told Timothy. Ndiye aliambia Timotheo. Paul was telling Timothy. Paul alikuwa anaambia Timotheo. Give me Timothy please too. Timotheo wa pili. Second Timothy 2:3 <laughs> to 5. 3 to 5. Yes sir. You therefore must endure hardship. Mm -hmm. As a good soldier, soldier of Jesus Christ. Yes. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. That denying yourself which Bishop told us. Go on. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, mm -hmm. he is not crowned unless, unless he competes according to the rules. rules. Lazima amalise kulingana na sheria sio wekwa. Are you, are you are you with me? Uko pamoja nani? So the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, there is no shortcut. Kwa hivyo ufalme wa Bwana hauna ile mkato. You know with computer now we have shortcuts. Unajua computer siko na mkato. Kuna mkato. Run and follow the way it's supposed to be done. Kimbia ufuate ile sheria iliyowekwa. Are we okay there? Tuko sawa hapo? Then let's go now. Sasa twende. Let's go. Twende. Grace. We said grace. Tulisema neema. There are some of you that are still worried about what you be hearing about grace. Watu wengine bado wako hapa na mashaka kile kitafanyika na neema. A rest. A rest. Ndio. Is a rest to the end. Ndio ni mbio unapofika mwisho. I want to say that one more time. Nasema mara ya pili. As long as you are alive. So long as uko hai. Can somebody repent today? Mtu anaweza kutubu leo. And go to heaven. Alafu aende mbinguni. 
I'm asking everybody. Nauliza kila mmoja. Yes. You can repent as I stand here now I repent totally and I go to hell. Vile nimesimama hapa naweza kutubu sawa sawa alafu naenda mbinguni. You are doubting me. Why are you looking at it? Mbona nimekuwa na mashaka? Let me tell you my prayer I wish the day the Lord touched me called me and I repented he took me. Maombi yako ya kwamba Bwana wakati aliniita na nikatubu angenichukua. But as long as you are on this earth. Lakini ukiwa dunia hii you better walk out your salvation with fear. Lazima ufanyie lazima ufanyie wokofu wako na kuogopa na kutetemeka. And anybody who tells you grace is all about grace is a liar. Lakini mwende kusumbua kuhusu neema, huyu ni muongo. Because Jesus Christ told us. Kwa maana Yesu alituambia, you have to endure to the end. Lazima ufumilie mpaka mwisho. Somebody running a race. Moto ambaye anakimbia mbio. You endure to the end. Lazima ufumilie mpaka mwisho. When you get to the middle. Unapofika katikati. And you turn around. Alafu unageuka. And say where is my my prize? Unasema kwamba sawadi yangu iko wapi? It's going to slap you this fool. Unatakupiga kofi. You didn't get there and you're coming to ask me for your prize. Kimbia ufike mwisho. Haukufika mwisho unakuja kuomba sawadi. Are we together? Tuko pamoja? So anybody telling you that why we are in the Bible. Ndio sangaona kwamba mtu akukwambia tuko Biblia. Ni kwambia kitu. Is it consistent with the Bible? Je, inaenda sambamba na Biblia? If it's not. Kama sivyo. I'm lying. Na fanya uongo. I'm trying to make it easy for you. Nataka kufanyia kuwa muongo. I have members. Niko na washirika. I don't want to lose members. I don't want to lose my members. Sitaki kupata sawa washirika. So do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Fanya kile unataka haijalishi. Your sins have been forgiven a long time even now I'm the future. Dhambi zako silisemehoa kitambo na hata siku ijayo. Fanya kile unataka. And people are believing that. Na watu wanaamini hayo. People are believing that. Watu wanaamini hayo. So let's touch on this. Wacha tusungumze hii. Very briefly. Kwa ufupi. If it is all about grace. Kama tu ni kwa neema. How come many are called but few are chosen? Kwa nini wengi wameitwa ni wachache wanachaguliwa? Are you following what I'm talking about? How come many are called but few are chosen? Wengi wameitwa lakini wachache wanachaguliwa. How come Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo said Alisema Read me Matthew 10 Matayo 10 please 13 Yeah Matthew 10 Matthew 10 13 13 10 Matthew 13 Matthew 13 Matthew Are you are you with me Yes I'm Okay let's read read Matthew 24 13 Let's move Matthew with this your computer 13 but he who endures to the end shall be saved who said that wale atashinda paka mwisho ataokoka nani alisema hayo my people listen who said that nani alisema hayo jesus christ jesus christo if jesus christ kama yesu christo came at the end of everything alikuja baada ya kila kitu is a father kana baba i have finished nimemaliza the work you given to me ile kasi ambayo ulinipa now the hour has come sasa wakati umeadia i have completed your work nimemaliza kasi yako glorify me jitukuse give me john 17 to 5 john 17 to 5 yes jesus spoke these words lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour has come glorify your son mm -hmm. that your son also may glorify you yes as you have given him authority over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him yes and this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent yes i have, I have. Yeah, go on. i have glorified you on the earth uh -huh. i have finished i finished the work which you have given me uh -huh. to do And now, and now oh father glorify me together with yourself with the glory which i had with you before it's okay i finish the work nimemaliza kazi you give you give to me ulio nipa why do you think the bible said ni kwa nini unafikiri biblia inasema there are people who know the bible here kuna watu wanajua biblia hapa that this thing is an endurance rest you endure hii ni mbio ambao unataka ufumilie give me hebrews 10 Waibrania 10 36 36
Hebrews 10, 36. Yes. For you have need of endurance. You have need of endurance. Yes. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. After. Bada. My people in Nairobi, are we, we are talking about English. I didn't, did I write this? What wangu wa Nairobi? After. Bada. Not before. Sio kabla. You have an employment. Udafanya kazi. From the first day. Siku ya, last day. Siku ya kwanza paka mwisho. You didn't work. Huko kufanya kazi. The end of the month you said, where's my salary? Are you, are you crazy? Unaenda lafu nasema nataka mwishara. Wei ni wasimu. You want salary when you didn't actually work for it. Unataka mshara mahali ambapo ukufanya kazi. And that's why the same chapter. I want everybody to get this let's go because we we'll answer some questions. I won't keep you long. Alafu nataka hapo hapo tupate Hebrews verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. Now let me let me ask you this. The, the Waj- just shall live by faith. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. The just shall live by what? Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. Remember we talked about faith yesterday, right? Jana tulizungumza kuhusu imani. Do say faith was. Tulizungumza imani nini? Obedience. So here, hapa, which one comes first? The just of faith. Neno neno gani linakuja kwanza? Ni imani ama wenye haki? Pastor said just, right? <laughs> you see, you see everything God has written. Kila kitu Mungu ameandika. The just shall live by faith. Wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. I am not just I am unjust. Mimi si mwenye haki, niwe katika haki. And I say I'm living by faith of God. Naam naishi kwa imani ya Mungu. My people, watu wangu. Wake up. Ya mnukeni. The just shall only live by the faith because he's just. It ni ni, ni wataishi tu kwa im, kwa imani. The just shall live by faith. Wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. Okay, yes. But if anyone draws back, if anyone ever draws back and goes back to his vomit, Kama mtu yes. anarudi nyuma aende kwa ile matabiko yake. My soul so has, has no pleasure, pleasure in him. That's why Jesus Christ said. Ndio sababu Yesu akasema. Because some people say come. Anasema watu kuja. Follow me. Nifuate. They said let me go and bury my father. Ngine anasema kwamba mwache niye nikasike baba yangu. He said oh Nasema, eh, you want to finish burying them? Unataka kutangulia kusika baba yako? You may not even get there. Pengine huko utafika huko. By the time you think you get there you may die. Kabla hujafika huko unachukua mikofu. Na you now and na, you say you want to go bury them first. Na kuita sasa ndio unasema unataka kusika baba yako. Let the dead bury the dead. Wacha wafu wasike wafu wao. But after saying all this. Na baada ya kusema hayo yote. He warned us. Alituonya. Read me please. Look. 962. Luka. Yes. Luka tisa sitinate. But Jesus said to him, No one having put his hand to the plow and, and look looking back, back his feet for the kingdom, for the kingdom of, God. of God. This is Jesus Christ telling us. Who in Yeso anatuambia? Why do you think God ni kwa nini unafikiri mungu use the wife of loss as an example? Why do you think God? Unafikiri Mungu. Every Israelite. Kila Muislamu that was in Egypt was saved, right? Alikuwa Egypti aliokolewa. If I'm if I'm wrong, you let me know. Every Israelite that was in bondage was brought out. Kila Muislamu alikuwa Misri aliondolewa katika ufungo. How many entered the promised land? Ni wangapi waliingia katika nje ya hadi? Two. Why didn't others enter? Ni kwa nini wengine hao hawakuingia? That's why the Bible told us make sure. Ndio Biblia inatuambia hakikisha. The example unto us. Kuna mifano katika Biblia. Are you following me? Unanifuata? Let me please Hebrews 3. Tusome Waibrania. And that's why God said, let me before he reads this this before he reads this. Kabla hajasoma hii. Look at the argument again. Everybody please get it. Tafadhali sikiliza hii. They say it is hard the way to change njia kubadilika is gradual ni pole pole ama hatua kwa hatua no no please uh, tell me because i'm sure they have told you that people have told you that naamini wamekwambia 
they, they will tell you that Rome, Rome was not built in a day. Unajua anasema kwamba Rumi hakujengwa kwa siku moja. I said I'm not here to talking about Rome. Mimi siko hapa siku moja kuhusu Roma. Okay? Don't get Rome. I don't have anything to do with Rome. Mimi sina kimba kuhusu Roma. Can anybody tell me? Kuna muda ambao anaweza kuniambia. This is takes time. You know it's a gradual process. Najua hili jambo la kwenda hatua kwa hatua. That's called the doctrine of what? Gradualism. Hiyo ni maandiko inaitwa maandiko ya watu ya kwenda kwa hatua kwa hatua. And that doctrine is not in keeping with the reality of spiritual life. Na hiyo jambo halihusiki na mambo ya usimu wa kiroho. Spiritual transformation. Mambo ya kubadilishwa kiroho takes whatever time God wants it to take. Inachukua muda Bwana anataka uchukue. God is the one doing the transformation. Bwana ndiye anafanya mabadiliko ndani ya kiroho. But to depart from evil. Lakini kutoka kwa maovu. Is this second ni sasa hivi. God bless you. Bwana kubariki. Separate the two. Tafautisha mawili. There are two things and God said one I do it. Ni vitu viwili Mungu anasema moja nafanya. That, but don't that's the one we worry about. Hivi ndio tunakuwa wasiwasi. But that one he said my child. Na ikidi anasema mwanangu. You hear my voice. Ukisikia sauti yangu. When I when I have given you that grace and mercy to hear my voice. Napokupatia neema ya kusikia sauti yangu. This second is the moment. Dakika hii ndio dilisa. Because since you don't know when the next one will come. Kwa maana unajua hujui ni siku gani ya mwisho itakuja. You don't know whether you are going to live the next second. Haujui kwamba utaishi hiyo dakika inakuja. Depart from evil today. Toka katika maofu leo. Because tomorrow may be late. Kwa maana kesho unaweza kuwa umechelewa. Because if you do. Kama unapofanya. I will come with my spirit and my heart. Mimi nitaita roho yangu na roho yangu. That one doesn't concern you. Na hiyo night ni hayuhusu wewe. The only concern is that you build the foundation of departing from evil. Hili ni kujenga tu misingi ya kutoka katika maovu. When my spirit comes. Roho wangu akija. He can do whatever he wants to do. Anaweza kufanya kile anataka kufanya. He can be one day. Anaweza kuwa siku moja. He can be one second. Anaweza kuwa dakika moja. He can be forever. Anaweza kuwa kwa milele. He's God. He does whatever that pleases him. Ni Mungu anafanya kile anafurahisha. Lakini wewe. Your own job is to depart Today. Kasi yako na yangu ni kutoa katika maofu. That's why the Bible says. Hebrews 3:7 Go on, I'll tell you where to stop. Hebrews 3:7. Yes. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says. Yes. Today. Today. No. Not tomorrow. Sio kesho. Today if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion in the day of trial in the wilderness uh -huh. where your fathers tested me tried me <laughs> and saw my works 40 years yes therefore i was, I was angry, angry with, with that generation, generation and, and said they always go astray in their heart and they have not known my ways oh wait a minute we we'll, we'll go they have not known my ways can anybody know god's ways Mtu anaweza jua ngesa Mungu? Come on Nairobi. Wait. Nairobi, Nairobi. We are going to the Bible. God said, can he said, he said because they did not know my word. Alisema ya kwamba My question is that can anyone know God's ways? No. Kukunaangia inasema ya kwamba mtu anaweza jua ngia Bwana. Because God bless you. Ndio. Bwana kubariki. So many people said No. Watu wengi wamesema pana. If no one can know God's word, what did he say? Kama mtu hawezi kujua njia za Bwana, Bwana alisema. They did not know my ways. That means ha, ha. they were supposed to know what? Hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba walikuwa wanataka na ujue njia za Bwana. The ways of the Lord. Njia za Bwana are higher. Chiko juu. And he wants us to that way. Na anataka tuje kwa hiyo njia. It's possible to come. Anasema kuja. Come to my way. Kuja kwa njia yangu. You want to know my ways? Nataka kujua sisi wangu. Repent of everything. Waja kila kitu tubu kila kitu. Spotless. Wai usiwe na dhambi. Blameless. Kwa mtu ambao ulamiwi. Build a foundation. Jenga msingi. Follow me and walk and obey. Fata mimi na uti. But people confuse one thing. Lakini watu kuchanganyikiwa na kitu kimoja. The way of God. Njia za Bwana. God expects us to know it. Bwana anataka ujue. But his understanding is unsearchable. Lakini kuelewa ni kwa ajabu. That's where we confused him. Hapo ndio tunachanganya mambo. Okay? What he does? Kila na... 
Kila baada tunafanya ni kile kile ambao hatuelewi. Are you following me? Unanifuata? Don't look at me. Let's read Isaiah. We we'll go back here. Read me Isaiah 42:18 please. Isaiah 40:28. Yes. Isaiah 40:28. Have you not known? Mm. Have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth? Neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Kuelewa kwake ni kwa ajabu. You know then we we will take it that God is saying his ways are unsearchable. Baada ya kusema kwamba njia zake ni sio sio sueleka. But how do you know? Lakini una unajuaje njia za Bwana? Where do you go and look for the ways of God? Unaenda wapi utafuta njia za Bwana? I know you are the way. Where do you go and look for it? Unaenda wapi utafuta njia za Bwana? I can't believe this. Where do you go and look for the ways of God? Ni wapi unaenda utafuta njia za Bwana? Of God into the Bible. Are you following what I'm talking about? Neno la Mungu katika Biblia. You go there, you find his ways. Unaenda kwa Biblia, unafuata njia zake. And then if you do it, you know his ways. Alafu ukifanya, unajua njia zake. Are you with me? Uko pamoja? I'm going to bring one more thing. Naenda kuleta kitu kingine kimoja. Tell you why about this the doctrine of grace is you know what it is? A false sense of security. Hii ni neema, hii mafundisho ya neema ni ile hali ya ku ya uongo ya ya kuni ne? A false security, ndio? <laughs> ya kujikinga. Si ndio? Okay. You know when somebody feels I have arrived, I'm already there. Unajua kama mtu anasema kwamba niko hapa. Nimekufa siko pale. From Genesis. Kuanzia mwanzo. To Revelation. Mpaka mfunuo. God told us. Bwana alisema, follow my way. Fuata njia zangu. And you must follow that way. Na ukifuata njia hiyo until you reach the end. Mpaka ufike mwisho. That is where you will know that you have made it. Hapo ndipo utasema nimefaulu. That's what Paul said. Leo pale unasema. I know one thing. Najua kitu kimoja. No, that two things Paul said. Kuna vitu viwili pia alisema. Concerning himself and the kingdom. What is it? Kuhusu yeye na ufalme wa Mungu. I've been, been talking a lot. Come on. I have bishop from even Kisimu and everybody. What tell me? Kuna askofu kutoka Kisumu na kila mtu alisema. Yes. Paul said. Yes. Paul alisema nini? Kwa mama wawili. Run the rest. Yeah, God bless you. You are trying. Umebarikiwa, umejaribu. Paul, Paul was telling us that I have run a good race. Nimekimbia ndio nzuri. Done it to the end. That's Nimefika mwisho. But Paul, when he was alive, said two things. Lakini Paul alipokuwa hai, alisema mambo mawili. Paul said something like all of us should know. Paul alisomza kitu ambacho sisi wote tunastahili kujua. What are you crucifying together with God? I know that God bless you. I love, I love Kenyan people. Napenda wa Kenya, napenda wa Kenya. I love the way you try, you try. Napenda jinsi mnapojaribu. Because when you have that heart, ukiwa na moyo huo, the spirit of God will teach you. Roho wa Mungu atakufundisha. If you say, I know it. Oh, napokaa tu najua, najua. When a student says he knows it, it's over. Kama wanafunzi wanasema wanajua, mwisho. The spirit of God says you are a god. Arrogant person, get out of my sight. Roho wa Bwana anasema hii ni mtu mwasi, toka mbele yangu. So uh, that's why I love Kenya. Hiyo ndio sababu napenda wa Kenya. Okay. Sawa? Because when this one came up, it was even in November last year in Nigeria. Hata wakati neema nilikuja kule November, Pastor Charles said they were not there. So he went to God. The food of us said, Paul told us one thing that he should hold on to. Paul alisema kwamba kuna kitu tunasema tushikilie. Concerning the kingdom of God. Kuhusu ufalme wa mbinguni. For himself. Kwa haja ya binafsi. Yes, yes, pastor. I, I love this pastor. But we're coming there. You have gotten one. Listen, listen to what Paul. And that's what we're going to have to do. Paul told us. Paul made an admission. Paulo alikiri. Paul. Paulo. Of all people. Katika watu wote. Who wrote all the epistles? Waliandika zile barua. You would think you would think Paul was already in heaven. Unaweza kufikiri Paul alikuwa mbinguni. Paul told us. Paul akatuambia. I have not even made it. Sijamaliza. I'm trying. I have not even. Na, that, na, that, na, I, I love that. Najaribu. Emeko Zurumba always know. 
Amen. As long as you are here. Ukiwa hapa. Until you get there. Mpaka ufike kule. You have not made it. Haujafaulu. Amen. No one thing. Amen. Not the judge. Sio sio muamusi. Not the judge. Kuna muamusi. He will judge according to his own way. Ataamua kulingana na njia ya sake mwenyewe. Sio kwa njia yako. Paulo akasema. Philippians 3 please. Philippians 3:12. Philippians 3:13. Let's move. I want to touch other things. Okay. Philippians 3:13. No, okay. Read for 12. Okay. Go. Not that I have already attained mm. or I'm already perfected. I am not yet. Sijakamilika. Why did Paul say that? Ni kwa nini Paul alisema hayo? Come on, come on, come. Eh? Alikuwa bado duniani. Muradi tu alikuwa hapa dunia hii. He still not perfected anything. Ah, bado hajakamilika. Go on, yes. Not that I've already no, attained. No. Why 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 did pa- he say? Pastor said because Paul said because he was still on this earth. Kwa maana Paul alisema bado niko hapa dunia hii. Why you are on this earth? Ukiwa okay, katika dunia hii. Listen. Ndugu zangu sikiliza. Never take God for granted. Usichukue Mungu kwa msaha. Never assume Usi dani that you have anything good about God. Ya kwamba una kitu kizuri kuhusu Mungu. I want you to know that. Nataka ujue hiyo. Yes. Endelea. Not that I have yes. not that I've attained or already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that. Why don't you start from 11? I want to say what Paul said. Okay. Uh, Philippians 3 from 11. If by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already attained. That is admission. Hiyo ni kubali. You see you got the, the second one but I'm going to give you that. Paul said I've not I've not attended. Mimi sijafaulu. But he said but I know one thing I will do. Lakini najua kitu kimoja nafanya. In fact Paul didn't say that all the things Paul said they are threatened. Please learn this is teaching. Kati vya vitu vitu vya Paul alisema I've not attended. Paul anasema kwamba sijafaulu. There are two things that I know. Kuna mambo mawili najua. And two th- One thing I do not know. Na kuna mambo mengine sijajua. Nairobi if you answer me this this thing now let, let's go home. I'll Sasa ukinijibu hii. Sit down and drink cold water. Tunaenda nyumbani. Paul akasema. Two things I know. Kuna mambo mawili najua. Number one. Kwanza I have not attended. Sijafaulu. But two is what? Ya pili ni gani? No. It it is you, you will never find it on the same chapter. Hautapata maandiko hapo hapo. That's what that's where we are that's what he said. Hapo ndipo tuko sasa. Said, what is it? Paul said, I have not perfected. Sija sija kamilika. Akasema kitu kingine. That something else I know. Kuna kitu najua. All right, all right, all right. There's so. something else I am sure of. Hakuna kitu ya kujifunia. Hmm? Come now. Don't... It's, a, it's a, I know one thing I admit two things but one of them I do not know. Kuna vitu vile najua lakini kuna kitu kingine sijajua. Okay. Sawa. I've not perfected. Sijakamilika? Okay. Let's go to first Cor- leave it. Go to first Corinthians. Korinto wa kwanza 9. Tisa. First Corinthians 9 from 24. I don't know where you want to chop it. 20 Do you know let me see. Let's read from go ahead and read for 23. Okay. I'll, I'll put I'll put it. Now this I do for the gospel's sake that I may be partaker of it with you. <laughs> yes. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize? Yes. Run in such a way Wait. that you may obtain it. Run in such a way that you mo- is, is advising us. But Sasa, run. Yeah. Anatupatia mashauri. Run in such a way you, you, will, you will obtain. Kimbia ile ingia unaweza kupata. Then he came and told us that something I know. Alafu anakuja anatuambia kuna kitu najua. I'm sure of myself. Okay, go on. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore, Therefore I run this. This is one thing I am sure of. I yeah. run. Nakimbia kile kitu ambacho anajifunia. Not like one beating the air. Sio mtu ambaye anakimbia katika kupiga hewa. I don't go to church just to sit down si. and then go home. I know what I'm running for. Siendi tu kwa kanisa kukaa, najua kile kinafanya naenda pale. I run with certainty. Nakimbia na lengo. 
And the only way you run with certainty is how? Nabila wana kimia lelego ni namna gani? Eh? Hallelujah. I love this my people here. I run with uncertainty by going back to the foundation of eternal life. Na kimia kikiwa na lengo ni kirudi katika misingi ya usimu wa milele. Everything from Genesis to revelation you deal with God. It comes back to his eternal life, which is the foundation. He said, I run and make sure no sin in my life. Kwanzia mwanzo mpaka ufunuo kila kitu kinayohusu Mungu kinahusu usimu wa milele. Anakimbia akisema ndani yangu hakuna dhambi. That's why Paul said he's sure. I'm you, running. Ndio Paulo anasema na uhakika. Not like one beating the air. Sio kama vile kupiga ngumi hewa. Not like one laboring for the in vain. Sio kama wale tu wanafanya kazi buri. Kwa maana najua na disipline mwili wangu. Kwa hiyo kitu kilicho kwa mwili wangu. Lazima nikiweke chini ya utifu wa roho wa Mungu. As long as I do that. Nikifanya hivyo. When my time comes. Wakati wangu unapokuja. He will take me. Atanichukua. Are you following me? Unanifuata. Paul also told us that one thing I don't know. Paulo tena akasema kuna kitu ambao sijui. What is it? What is it that one thing no man knows on this earth? Ni kitu gani ambao hakuna mwanadamu anajua hiyo kitu? Where is what? what? I, I can't hear you. Time. Atakufa lini? When right? That's why the Bible wrote, listen to me please. Nisikilize tafadhali. Give me Ecclesiastes please. Mhubiri 9:12. Yes. For man also does not know his time. You see? Like fish taken in a cruel net. Like birds caught in a snare. So the sons of men are snared in an evil time. Mm. When it falls suddenly, suddenly upon, upon them. Gafula ikiwangukia. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Let me tell you one thing. Wacha niandike kitu kimoja. Anyone. Mtu yeyote. Who says is of God. Anasema ni wa Mungu and does not perfect this foundation listen to me alafu aweki alikamilishi msingi nisikilize you can't do anything uweze kufanya kitu chochote you cannot love uweze you can't love uweze kupenda you can't obey uweze ti it's the only foundation and the bible calls it elementary school of god hiyo ndiyo msingi na yeye wanasema kwamba ndiyo msingi ya shule pastor was following me where does he call it elementary school of god ngine kusema mbona anaita msingi ya shule I love it. He got it. Hebrews chapter 6:1. He said, "Let us now be wise and leave this elementary school." Mwache him, mwache misingi hii ya ya chini. Hebrews 6:1. Okay, you have it. 6:1. Moja. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. From dead works. Kwa kasi sio kufa. Don't go in again. Usirudi huko tena. Yesterday I stole something. Jana niliambia kitu. I said I Yesterday I I I don't know what to, I committed adultery. Jana nilifanya dhambi ya usharati. I came to God I said no more. Nikakuja kwa Mungu nikamwambia pana pana. Tomorrow I do the same thing. Kesho nafanya hiyo hiyo. I'm still in elementary. Bado niko katika msingi. I'm still a slave. Bado niko mtumwa. I'm still a child. Bado niko mtoto. Until I can overcome that. Bado siwezi kushinda hii. I will have no relationship with God. Sitakuwa na ushirika na Mungu. Because he told us said you can only come to me through a highway. Kwa maana anasema kwamba lazima uje katika njia ile ya nyoka. Highway is a highway of righteousness and holiness. Na hii njia ni njia haki na utakatifu. The unclean. The unclean. Lazi wale ambao ni waofu hawezi kuingia katika hiyo njia uko pamoja nani okay so let us close so that we can have any question you have wacha tufunge ili upate kuhusu swali ambao uko naye and if i'm tired i have people here who can answer them na kama nimechoka kuna watu wako hapa wanaweza kujibu then we have dealt with grace tumesomeza kuhusu neema if anyone after today kama kuna mtu baada ya leo goes back and commits any kind of sin kama unaenda unafanya dhambi yoyote. You are doing it intentionally. Umefanya makusudi? Knowingly. Ukijua? Willingly. Ukitaka? Recklessly. Na katika and don't ask God for mercy because Na usiombe baraka kutoka kwa Mungu. You know the truth. Unajua ukweli? Are you following me? Unanifuata? God does not punish an ignorant or 
What? Mungu hakukumi ule mtu asiyojua. Ama mtu yule ambao hajui. Lakini ukiendelea, baada ya kujua ukweli, unafanya makusudi. Therefore you will be reproaching God. Kwa hiyo kwa Na hapa utakuwa unachokosa roho ya Bwana. Tuko pamoja sote. Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo. That's why he said. Ibn Asema. Patie kumbukumbu ile tratati. Numbers. Hurry up. Numbers. Numbers 15. Numbers 15. 30 to 31. 7 to 31. 30 to 31. But the person who does anything presumptuously, Chai. whether he is native born uh -huh. or a stranger, uh -huh. that one brings reproach on the Lord, and he shall be cut off from among his people, because he has despised the word of the Lord and has broken his commandment. That person shall be completely cut off. His guilt shall, shall be, be upon on, on him. him. Listen to God. Mungu is so merciful. Ni wahuruma. He does not punish the ignorant and innocent person. Hahukumu moto asiyejua ama ule moto hakujua makosa ita nafasi. That's why Paul said. Yo Paul anasema. In 1 Timothy 1:13. Katika Timotheo 1:13. I was such a murderer. Mimi nilikuwa mtu muwaji. But God had mercy. Lakini Mungu akanihurumia. But what I did I did in ignorance. Kwa maana ile nilifanya nilifanya kwa kusoko kujua. That's why the Bible warn and is warning you and warning me right now. Ndio hiyo naona Biblia inatuonya wewe na mimi hapa saa hii. Read me Acts of Apostles 17:30. Acts 17:30. Tendo ya Mtume 17 30. Truly these times of ignorance God overlooked but now commands all men to everywhere to repent. Ba, basi samani sile sa ujinga Mungu alijifanya kama hasioni bali sasa anawagisa watu wote wa kila mahali kwa wakati wa ile kutokujua umepita tuko pamoja wakati wa kutokujua umepita ndio nasema kama mtu anajua kweli alafu anaenda anafanya dhambi there remains no more what there remains no more what Hata pata huh? rehema tena. What? I can't understand what they're saying. Huh? Mercy. What kind of mercy? Of course, look, I'll give you one thought. I'll give you one thought of that. Because it's the same thing anyway. He said that, give me, give me Romans 6. Warumi 6. No, that was not Romans, Hebrews 6. <laughs> Wa Ibrania 6. 4 to 6. Ine hadi 6. Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. Mm hmm for it is impossible for those who are, who are once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. Mm. If they fall oh, away, to renew them again to repentance since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put him to open shame. Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10. 26 to 29. Yes. For if we sin willfully, willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there, for no, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. In fact, God calls it insulting the spirit of grace. Read, read only 29. Go to 29. Hebrews 10, 29. Yes. Anyone, sorry, of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the, the son, son of, of God on the foot, counted, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing the, and insulted the spirit, the spirit of, of grace. grace. Do you hear me? That's good, sir. There's something that happened. That's why I told that God will never punish an innocent person. Kuna kitu ambayo anasema kwamba Mungu hata hukumu wale watu ambao hawaelewi. Hivi ifanyika katika Biblia. In Genesis 20. Katika mwanzo 20. Abraham was journeying to Nairobi. Kila mtu alikuwa anakimbia hapa Nairobi. Hmm? Abraham alikuwa 
Anaenda Nairobi. Abraham alikuwa anaenda Nairobi. Why am I going to tell you Jericho? Do you know where Jericho is? And then he told Sarah, the wife. Kumwambia Sarah mke wake. Please. Tafadhali. Tell everyone I am your brother. Aambia kila mtu kwamba mimi ni ndugu yako. I don't want them to kill me. Sitaki ni wawe. And I will tell them you are my sister. Nami nitawaambia kwamba wewe dada yangu. So they go to Abimelech, the, the, the kingdom. Wakaenda kwa Abimelech mfalme. Abimelech took Sarah. Abimelech akachukua Sarah. And God the night. Na kaenda naye. Let's see we can chop this thing off. Read me please from from 5. Genesis 20 from verse 5. Mwanzo 20 kwa 25. No no no, let's start for 4. See, I will from 3. Okay. Because I think this is Hold on. Let's start let's start from one because I like the beam light. You know what I beam light did? Unajua bibi ndiye alifanya nini? And that's for all of us. Na sisi wote hapa. Any day. Siku yoyote. Something happens. Kitu kinafanyika. I can stand before God. Na unaweza kusema mbele ya Mungu. Say God. Na unasema Mungu. I make a case for my heart. Naweka wazi mbele ya Mungu. Wazi. You have arrived. Umefika. Watch me. What did I do wrong? Niangalie nimefanya makosa gani? Even if I told you made a mistake. Kama umefanya makosa, God will know because he knows the intent and the thought. Kwa maana Mungu atajua nia na mawaso yako. What were you thinking when you did what you did? Ulikuwa unawasa nini ni ukafanya kile ulikuwa unafanya? So go on, yes. Tuendelee. Abraham journeyed from there to the south and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur and stayed in Gera. Now Abraham said of Sarah his wife, she is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream <laughs> like, by yes. night and said to him, Indeed, you are a dead, dead man. man. Go me kufa. Because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her. And he said, mm. Lord, will you slay a righteous What did I do? Nilifanya nini? Huh? Why do you want to kill me? What did I do? Nilifanya nini? Yes. Did he not say to me she is my sister? And she, even she herself said, he is my brother. In, in the, the integrity of my, of my heart. And in the sense of my hands, I have done this. I have done it. Yes. And, and God, God said. said to him in a dream, yes, I know that you did this in the integrity of your heart. For I also, I God also, because of that heart, I restrained you. Kwa jeli ya geo nini, nili kusuhia. For I also will tell you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not let you Doctor. touch her. Now, therefore, that, oh no! Now that you know the truth, <laughs> go on. Now, and therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you and leave. But, but if you do not restore her, know that you shall surely Sorry, die. Dad. That's it. You and all who are yours. When I know the truth, kama najua ukweli, then I'm accountable. Last man ya dike to that very truth. Kwa ajili ya ukweli huo. My people from this day. Watu wangu kuanzia siku ya leo. Wale ambao wamekaa hapa can avail that a legal word. Can eh? Can avail himself of that defense of ignorance. No more ignorance. Hakuna kutokujua sasa. That's why Jesus Christ said. Yo Yesu akasema in John 15:22. Katika Yohana 15:22. If, if I have not come, kama singekuwa nimekuja, they have no sin. Hawakuwa na dhambi. But now that I have come, lakini kwa nini nimekuja? The sin remains. Kwa hivyo dhambi tasimama. Are, are we all together here? Tuko pamoja. So have we covered all this right now? Baada ya kusikia haya yote, about this foundation laid it I'm going on. Na grace. Na hiyo msinga ambayo mwekwa kwa neema and why the doctrine of grace is wrong kwa vile mafundisho ya neema ni iko na makosa let me tell you what jesus christ said wacha nikwambie kile yesu alisema we started from genesis and we have gone now to revelation tulianza katika mwanzo sasa tumefika katika ufunuo revelation 226 please revelation 226 yes and he who overcomes and, and keeps my, my works, works until the until end, the end. To him I will give power over the nation. Are you following me? Unanifuata? This is the revelation of Christ. Whoever overcomes, yeye atashinda. 
How else do you overcome except you finish what is given to you? And they come to the end. There shall be saved. Are you following me? So now before I sit down, or before we have any question, then we have covered all this is for three days. Baada tumechukua hiyo siku tatu. Wacha niambie kitu kimoja na Nairobi hapa. In this church. Katika kanisa hili, there is nobody. Hakuna mtu more blessed ambaye amebarikiwa kama mimi because in this lifetime he, katika maisha haya i've seen a place nimeenda sehemu where god has touched a man mahali mbwana amefundisha mtu na ye ako naye to say all we need to hear is the truth of god kile ambao tunataka ni ukweli wa Mungu that we can come and show video unaweza kuja uonyeshe video You watch those video. Unatasama hizo video. Kitu chochote. That you can even imagine that is not of Christ of the word of God. Ambao unaona kwamba haiwezi kuwa Kristo. Question it. Wachana naye. The day. Ile siku. Any word comes out of my mouth. Siku ile neno latakao kwenye mwangu. That is consistent with Christ. Ambao linaendana na Kristo. Your brother that's the day he's dead. Ndio kwamba hiyo siku huyo mtu amekufa. Because I don't even know. Kwa maana If you have given me millions of dollars. Kama umempatia mabilioni ya madola. To think that the day will come. Kufikiria kwamba siku itakuja. I will stand and preach the gospel. Mtasimama na kubiri injili. I would have slapped you. Ningekupiga kofi. Because before then. Kwa maana kabla. You came to my office. Kama ungekuja kwa ofisi yangu. You talked about God. Na ukukusumbuza Mungu. I walk you out. Ningetoka. If you didn't have the brain to make money, you are coming here telling me about Abraham did this Abraham. Are you crazy or what? Kama haungekuwa na akili ya kusumbuza mambo ya pesa ya mesa, wewe uko wasimu nini? But this can God. Na hii nashukuru Mungu. The most merciful God. Mungu wa huruma. If you know the testimony of what happened to me. Kama ungesajua ushuhuda ambao ulifanyika kwangu. You should never in your life doubt that there is God. Usije ukawa na mashaka maishani mwako ya kwamba kuna Mungu. There is a mighty God. Kuna Mungu mkuu. That ambao can subdue a lion is a, is mighty. Ambao anaweza kuangusha simba. That which made a fool who thought he was something to come down to the ground is a mighty God. Wale aliyofanya wale mjinga kuja kumjua Mungu. I have seen his glory. Macho yangu yameona utukufu wake. There's no going back. Na serudi nyuma. Because no man spoke to me about him. Kwa maana hakuna mtu aliyemsungumzia kuhusu Mungu. That's the end of it. Hivyo ndio mwisho wake. Are you following me? Unanifuata? Are you following me? Unanifuata? So now my brother, let's stop this thing. We could going to start tomorrow if God allows us. Bas waje tukomee pale tutaanza kesho kama Mungu anaruhusu. What then is salvation? Wokofu ni nini sasa? We are in trouble. Look at look at the progression of how God has started the coming to that. Once you get understanding of what we've been doing since three days and the rest, that's it. That's the Bible. That is the gospel of the kingdom of God. Angalia vile imekuja tukafika hapa alafu tufikie mahali tumefikia. Tukijua hayo bas hiyo ndio injili. Let me tell you one thing. Wacha niambie kitu kimoja. If you perfect this fear of God. Unapokamilisha hii kumocha Mungu ama hofu ya Mungu. Whereby you can stand Uwe na mahali unaweza kusimama. And say the, the evil one has nothing in me. Ya kwamba maofu hayako ndani yangu. That maofu hana da, kitu ndani yangu. That's the gospel. Hiyo ndio injili. That is it. Hiyo ndio injili. That's all God. Can you believe this? Unaweza amini hii? Until only a few months ago. Miaka michache iliyopita, it was not even revealed to me or any of them to know. Kama hingefunuliwa kwa kwangu Bishop that, that is the only thing that God requires from us. Kitu kimoja tu kile ambao Bwana anataka kwangu so ni rais. You can see why Jesus Christ said my body is light. Ndio akasema ya kwamba Yesu akasema mwili wangu ni nuru. Kujeni kwangu. And John was telling us in 1 John 3:3 say look the commandments of God are not burdensome. Hiyo wakati wa Rako Yohana anasema ya kwamba msigo wangu sio msito. Let the wicked forsake and seize wacha waofu wa kome na wawacha brother and sister let one of you just one in this place perfect that in your life and you will see what god can do moto tu mmoja hapa kamilisha hayo katika machani mwako na utaona kile mungu anaweza kufanya and that's it na hivyo bas because if you do that you are obeying already kwa hivyo unapofanya hiyo unaati that's the only way you could love hivyo ndio kitu unaweza kupenda 
Are you following me? Umefuata? So what is salvation so that we can Kwa hivyo wokovu ni nini? It's six o'clock and okay. if we have uh, any questions if God helps us it helps us for about 30 minutes or whatever. What is salvation? Wokovu nini? Why are you whispering to yourself? <laughs> God bless you. I love what you're saying. It is well. It, it's not what I'm looking for. What is salvation? Walk off on me. My my big my good brother my good brother. The guy from Kobo. Walk off on me. Yes. Turning from what? Oh, yeah, close. But what is salvation? Walk off, walk off. Oh, walk around, I'm saved. In fact, let me not even say this. Let me say this. That there's a place. There are some places where you go. Every human being is born again. Kuna mahalo naenda kila moto ameokoka. I ask. <laughs> I was telling them, so the Bible said, if you are baptized unto Christ, you are buried. What? Kama umebatiswa na Kristo umesikwa na? The problem with most of us Shida na wengi wetu Bishop is because we have not even died How much more to talk about being buried Ka, ah, ah, It's not possible We haven't even died yet Hata hatuja kufa Tunesumusia kusika na managani We are claiming we are there When we have not even <laughs> Tunesumusia tuko hapa na hatuja kufa bado What is salvation? Wakofu ni You want us to go home We go home We will follow tomorrow But I thank God we have many days. Na so, so I don't have to rush like crazy man. Because you don't want to be overloaded too much. That's fine. But I wanted us to define salvation. Then when we come, we continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not interested in what the Bible said. I'm telling you what is what Bill. <laughs> Based on what the Bible says, what is practically, practically, elementarily, the Bible, what salvation is? Kwa misingi tuka uraisi, wakofu ni nini? How? Kibipi? You give me something. What is salvation? Huh? 100%. I think in a way we're going to give it to that person. Salvation, we are saved. We don't even know what salvation is. Salvation is this. Until you rule, you are the ruler over all the sins in your life. That's you see, that's why I'm talking about this foundation is all and all my people. And I'll show you where it is in the Bible. You see, when actually you are delivered from the domain of darkness. Kama umetoka katika ufalimu wa Giza, utawala wa Giza. Are you following me? Nanifuata? <laughs> Pastor is looking at me and said, this is, hmm? this is getting... <laughs> you see, when I rule, there's something which God told Ken. Kuna kitu mungo aliambia Kain. Can you get Ken? Not Ken. Genesis 4. Genesis 4, 7, 7. 7. If you do well, mm -hmm. will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. Sin lies at the door, yes. And, and, it, God. and its desire is for you. It's for uh, the, the natural man, the desire is to sin. As, 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 Bishop, when I ask people, what is salvation? If you, if you thought very quickly, you would have said, I'm asking, what's the press? The so-called save from an unsave. It would have given you the answer. You see, and I don't blame you because I know that in Africa, even when it was a hard time for me the first year. In America, because America is used so much about with multiple choice. Wa America wana penda ili ya kuchagua. They say eliminate one, eliminate this one. Yeah, it must possibly be this. In Africa, we write and write. Afro Africa, tunandika, tunandika, tunandika. Are you following me? He said, sin lies. And yeah. the king is your desire because you are in the flesh to do it. Kwa mani wako katika muili, unatamani da? But, but you should rule over the sin. 
Lazima uitawale. You should the be the ruler. Lazima uwe mtawala. That's why Paul said Ndiyo Paul anasema Katika Korintho 9:27 Katika Korintho 9:27 You I bring you the whole flesh on that subjection. Kile ninafanya naleta mwili wangu katika utiifu ya Yesu Kristo. Flesh. Mwili. Shut up. Nyamasa. You are under me. Huko chini yangu. Are you following me? When you do that you are saying the devil you are under me. Ukifanya hivyo unasema shetani uko chini yangu. Are we, are we together? Tuko pamoja. Say rule over the sin. Tawa Look at salvation. Walk off. In one minute or two, then we finish and we we'll continue with that because it's a heavy thing you must understand. Again, it's Colossians 1:13. Colossians 1:13. Galatia 1:13. He has delivered us from the power of, of darkness. Hey. And and transformed or conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son. Salvation is that we've been delivered from the power of what? Walk and then translated into what? Now you got the problem. We have a problem. Who delivers who? Nani anakomba nani? Come on, come on, my people. Come on, come on. I we won't even I help you. I help you a lot before we started this. He said, he said, we'll be delivered from the domain of darkness. We are transformed into his image. Being delivered from the domain of darkness is not enough. To be saved, you must be transformed into his image. That's what Jesus Christ said. You must be born again. So the question I ask you this. Who delivers who from the domain of darkness? What is the Bible says? What? Yeah, you, you see, when you say the Bible says, you scare me. I ask you a simple question. Who delivers who? Believe me, all since yesterday and even three days ago, we've been covering this. If you listen to me, Tangu yoseko, tumekua hapa, tumekua it's very haya. easy. Ni raisi. And I cited Genesis to tell you who delivers who from the domain of darkness. Nane na, oh, nane na okoa, mungini, wa gisa. Huh? God bless you, Bishop. Why? As Kofu, no, bana I want to make this, I show you. And then I ask you a question. And then you look, you look at me. He told Cain. I am Cain. The reason why you have problem is because sin is in your life. Yes, because I'm not going to see that. But Cain, dami, iko you're going to have to rule that. Like you, Cain, you, last you, last you will have to deliver yourself. Wait, wait, last look, look, listen to me. Yes, God delivers all of us. But God has told you, my child, it's for you to rule this sin. Don't come and ask me to, forget, to, to, to repent for you. I'm not going to repent for you. You're the one doing this thing. Get out of it. So you see, exactly what I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> you see, if you're in trouble here, you put yourself there. I didn't put you. Look at my grace. I open your eyes. Get out. If you don't want to get out, that's a problem. Are you following me? So it goes back again. That fear of God. The found, that's why it's called the foundation of eternal life. Ndiyo inakuwa kwamba ni msingi ya msima wa milele. That's why the Bible says, I'm, I'm sitting down now. I'm Na. sitting down now. That's why the Bible says. Bili nasema. Limit Romans 6. Warumi, na, warumi sita. 4 to 6. Romans 6. Ine hadi sita. 4 to 6. Yes. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism. You see, Bishop, you see, that's what I was telling you. Some of us say we are buried with him. And we have not even died. Tumesikwa na ye. Na katika kufa. You see. <laughs> Yes, we were buried with him through baptism into death. 
that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, mm -hmm. even so we also walk to walk the newness, newness of, of life. life. Yes, go on. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, go on. That our old man was crucified with him, uh -huh. that the body, the body of, of sin, sin might, might be done, be done, done away, away with. with that we should no longer be slaves we, of sin. We, si, si. no longer be slaves. To see you at home, we are We deliver ourselves from the domain of a makers room by you are the one committing the sin. God is not going to come and apologize. Ni mimi ambao nafanya dhambi. Bwana hatakuja kuomba ruhusa. The grace of God is telling me, a makers room, repent. Neema bwana inaniambia kwamba rumba tubu, tubu. So, you see, we will go from there tomorrow. It is not what we just think. But when we go to the Bible, we see. Our eyes will open. I just want us to, to, to pray. And I will, this shop will call the uh, I want Sister BC come. And our guy will close us. Sister BC, come. Cry to God, pray for. These are our people. On your knees. Let us ask. I'm not telling you if you want to be on your knees, you'll be. I'm telling her on her knees. Let us take advantage of this rare opportunity. You don't know whether I will see you again or whether you'll see me again. You don't know. Everything you hear, I prayed to God before I came. Kila kitu unasikia, naomba bwana diyo nikuje. Each session when you left, when you leave, Wakati unatoka, you will realize that it wasn't a man talking to you. I have no ability to talk to you. Someone is talking to us. Kum, kuna we better pay attention. He who has ears in his heart, not here. Let him hear. I, like you, I love you. Na and the Lord God will. Na and if you feel that this God is touching you. Na ukiona ya kwamba Bwana anakugusa. Get up on your feet. Inuka katika mguu wako. Because God thought and you are crying the Lord. Here I am. This is it for this moment. Get up on your feet. Right. Kama unasikia kwamba Bwana anakugusa wakati kama huu. Inuka katika simama kwa mguu wako. God is the one who is speaking to you not me or any man and you say Lord come. Kama kama Bwana ndiye anakuzungumzia inuka kwa mguu. Sio mwanadamu anakuzungumzia inuka kwa mguu. The hour has come to get up and say, Lord, I am zero before you. Wakati umefika unasema mimi bure mbele yako. You have mercy on us. Nihurumie. And have mercy on our family. Nihurumie, hurumia jamii, kokomboa. Including this nation. God loves this nation. Bwana okwa taifa hili. Napenda ke. Humble ourselves before him. Wacha tunyenyeke mbele yake tumulilie. Don't labor in vain. And that will never happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We bow, we bow our hearts this evening and we are on bended knees crying out to you, Lord. Lord, humble our hearts this evening, Lord. Make us humble before you, Lord. We are open, bare before you, Lord. Holding back nothing. Holding back nothing from you tonight. Lord, we've heard your word. We've heard your truth. And we've made up our mind. And I pray everyone in this place made up our mind to follow after your truth. So we come with a bow heart, O oh God. Humble before you. Let your spirit walk within us, O oh God. Let your spirit Lord, walk within us, even as we surrender all. Lord, we repent for everything 
that we've been holding back from you. Oh God, all the places we've closed shut to you, Lord, we declare them open tonight. Lord, come in, oh God, and cleanse, purify our hearts. Give us a clean hands tonight and a pure heart, Lord, that we may be pleasing before you, oh God. Lord, thank you for giving us another opportunity. Because every breath we take, Lord, is an opportunity, Lord, that you have given us to make it right. Lord, we want to make it right. Even starting from right now, we want to make it right in our house, in our hearts, in our home, in our children, and people all around us. Father, thank you for this opportunity. So I ask you, by the power of your Holy Spirit. Take away any stony heart and replace it with a heart of flesh. Let your spirit come and move among your children tonight. Let it move, O oh God. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in this place tonight. Let no one live here the same. Lord, bring transformation in our hearts that no one will remain the same even after, after tonight, after today. After all these days, Lord, I pray none of us will ever remain the same. Father, we thank you for what you continue to do in your children, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you uphold them and give them the grace to carry on. Father, we thank you. And at the end of it all, only you and only you we take exclusive glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.